and Kevin from Weedem and Reap and today we're gonna show you what we've learned about making a chicken plucker, what we would have done differently. So Kevin, take it away. So what we did is we used a washing machine because I really like to be efficient and reuse and washing machine already has a barrel in it. It already has a motor in it, runs at approximately the correct RPMs that you want a chicken plucker to run at. So you can always get a washing machine for free on Craigslist. Okay. Because you know, people have a leaking tub and we don't care about a leaking tub. Right. And it, it all sounds good to use a washing machine like that, but here's some things you run into. The first washing machine had the wrong motor. Second washing machine took a long time to get how I wanted it to be. The tub in a washing machine moves all around it's on uh, suspension. You have to find a way to screw it so it doesn't move at all. Problem with most washing machines you'll run into is that they have a gearbox for the transmission at the bottom. And so the motor is attached to a gearbox. You can't see it here because it didn't work. The gear in it just broke all the pieces. It was a plastic gear. It was gear. just plastic, yeah. I had it all done and you do your first chicken and the gear just breaks apart because it's just a plastic gear that can't take the load. So if somebody wants to modify a washing machine because is there a benefit to doing that or would you say that somebody should just start from scratch? So the first priority I would do is see if you have a free swamp cooler on Craigslist. Okay. That's Why? Because that has a better motor? That's where you get all the free stuff because it has the wheel you already want, has the belt, has the motor, has everything you already want. Okay. It has the bearings, has the axle. You do that first. Okay. Then if you don't, if you have a free washing machine that has a belt with it okay. and a motor, then you can do that because a belt's not going to break like a gearbox in, but that's the problem. Most of your washing machines will not have a belt. So the illusion is you see like the tub and you think, oh, it already spins back and forth and all I need to do is like, but that was the problem. So the tub moves all around. You have to find a way to fix it, take out the springs, not make it move. You have to cut out the bottom of the tub so all the feathers can come out. You have to modify the axle like crazy, you know. Washing machines have a big agitator in the middle for agitating the clothes. Oh yeah, the thing that sticks up yeah, in the middle. Yeah, so the axle, you have to modify the axle that comes off, cut it off, and most of the time the bottom thing that spins is, usually it's made out of metal. This plastic one I took out of the other washing machine. How come machine? this side is plastic and not metal? Because the metal one we took out. That's the inner tub. Take out the inner tub and you throw it away. Wow. So real quick, so when you modified this. I had to buy the this pulley, that pulley. I had to buy the belt. And then I had to move the motor off of the gearbox over here, unbolt it. Um, <laughs> so how many hours there. did it take you to build this plucker? Uh, the first time I built it with the gearbox, it took probably like 10 hours. And then and the that, gearbox broke? That broke, so I had to rebuild the whole thing with the motor on the outside. It's another 10 hours. So you basically made two pluckers. Made two pluckers. These fingers inside are about 50 bucks. Chicken plucker fingers, we'll link to it in the video. So it's like, <laughs> so what was the benefit of using a washing machine? Like you really can't save hardly any of the parts. Yeah, I mean, Kay. the outside frame you could make with two by fours right. for $5. Right, so if you got a free swamp cooler and you got, you know, made a little frame, then you'd be pretty much set. All right, well, lesson learned. Hopefully people can learn from this and know there is a free, really cheap way to make it, but it is not the way we thought it would be, <laughs> for sure. We'll show them real quick how it works. Usually that's what happens, a little bit left on the wings, so the wings are kind of the hard thing. So if you if you keep turning it around, you can get those last ones off, but then it beats up your meat more. So the wings, I just don't worry about too much. That's about good. All right, sounds good. Good luck, folks.